we've been doing our Ask Me Anything sessions with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health for almost six months now. And what we know about the virus that causes COVID-19 has been constantly evolving over that time. One of the questions we've been getting frequently since day one is whether or not the virus is airborne. In this week's Q&A, Dr. Vinita Dubey explains in what circumstances that might be possible. The airborne transmission, again, I still think is important to note that it's still different from something like um, measles or chicken pox. But it's this idea that the droplet, if it's a tiny droplet particle, aerosolizes. <laughs> we knew that uh, there were aerosols generated. And, and classically, we thought it was for medical procedures. We call them aerosol generating procedures. So if you're hospitalized and they intubate you or they suction the back of your throat because you're very sick, that can produce aerosols from the droplets, very small particles, and that can be airborne. And so I think it's the same idea that may be contributing to airborne transmission here related to this virus, where if you're in a very poorly ventilated room, the air is not circulated, these small droplets, maybe it's from exercise, maybe it's from singing, maybe it's from talking or shouting loudly, they get suspended in the air and they can stay in the air for longer than a large droplet that falls to gravity. And so that's how this um aerosolization or airborne type transmission occurs. How long does it stay in the air for? Does it stay in the air for two hours like measles? I don't think so right now, but again, I'm learning just as much as you are as we go along this. There are in certain circumstances, I would say then, the chance of airborne transmission, but we don't know enough about how long it's suspended. Like if somebody leaves the area and then you walk into it, there's, there's no clear data on that. That's right, and what if you're wearing a mask? Um, does that, you know, will that prevent airborne transmission? Um, what about if you're just sitting, maybe talking with a mask on compared to exercising without wearing a mask? And then the ventilation, I mean, we've talked about ventilation, right? Outdoors versus indoors and the air matters. Outdoor is safer. So that recommendation is not new. It's going along with what we always recommended that you need good ventilation to, to combat this virus. We have more of our latest Q&A session with the doctor on our website, plus our top 10 most frequently asked questions over the last six months. You can find that on citynews.ca slash COVID answers, or you can point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now, and a link will pop up to take you directly to that page. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.